If you have a Bamboo Lab printer, you may have come across prints that look like this, where part of it is matte and part of it is glossy. This print had another print on the build plate that conveniently lines up with the transition from the matte to the glossy portion of the print. So let's take a look at what this looks like in Bamboo Studio. All right, so we've hopped into Bamboo Studio. We can see both of our parts have been sliced here under standard settings, and we can see how the G-code has been created and what that looks like. Um, but what you can do to see some more information about this print is you can go to your drop down here. So right now we're just in the line type, which is what the default uh, preview is going to look like. But if you go through this list of drop downs, you'll actually see some interesting stuff. And so we get to speed and you can already see that the bottom portion uh, where the other part lines up with our, our transition part. Um, we're actually going a lot faster than the top half of this cone. And so that lines up exactly with where the transition looks like from the matte to the glossy portion on our print. Uh, so you can look at speed, but you can also look at flow. So flow shows you a very similar picture where there's more flow on the matte portions than there is during the glossy. Another cool thing that you can look at while we're here is the flow calibration. So this actually gives you a little idea of what it's doing during the flow calibration. It's doing some higher flow than low flow than higher flow segments and using the LiDAR to, to match that to the profiles that they have built into the program and then a very low flow for this little pattern at the end here. So now let's look at one that's been sliced individually. And you can see this is much more uniform than before. And I'll, I'll put a pop up here now. You can actually see that when this is printed on its own, you don't see any of that transition. It's just glossy all the way through. So now let's take a look at how we can try and fix this. Um, for me, I've been able to mitigate this by changing the speeds of the outer walls. So going from 200 uh, down to 100. And we slice that plate. You can now see that everything is uniform on the outside from a flow standpoint. And we can go to the speed and the speed is also uniform on the outside. So if your parts need to be cosmetically uniform across the entire outer, outer surface, then you should probably be checking this on your prints. Uh, if you don't care about the look, and this is strictly a functional part, uh, then you can definitely just go ahead and print it on the default settings and not slow anything down. Um, that being said, this doesn't really slow it down by much. Like this is a 25 minute uh, print at the end of the day. And if I move these settings back, to 200 and we slice this I'm bumped down to a 23 minute print so I only I only added two minutes on this this is a pretty small print to begin with and you can imagine that on a larger print this might add I don't know an hour hour and a half maybe if you're using the entire build plate um, but it really really is worth taking a look at if you care about the look of your prints Here's a final look at the default settings and that transition from matte to glossy, followed by the results of changing that outer wall velocity from 200 millimeters per second to 100 millimeters per second. You can see that there's a much more consistent look to the exterior walls of these prints. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.